What's going on guys? Welcome to this video. I'm about to start this week's meal prep. I'm gonna do a his, a hers. I'm in a different location, obviously, than my kitchen. I'm at my sister's house and uh, they're just like out of town. So um, I'm dog sitting and when I get a chance to use their kitchen, I do it because I love their kitchen. Like I love how spacious and wide open it is. But before I get into the prep, like I have to clean. Like I'm gonna have to clean this kitchen before I start my prep and make it like dry. Like I need to clean all the counter space. I need to move stuff around. I need to make the room that I need. I feel like it's a very OCD type of thing. Like it's a legit disorder I think that I have. Like I, I mean, I can I joke about it, but like it almost, get, it almost like gives me anxiety. Like if my kitchen, if my kitchen is like dirty or messy or there's just stuff that is, you know, cluttering up counter space. Like I feel like I have to move it or put it in a certain place or just kind of keep it clean. I don't know. It's borderline, borderline OCD. I don't think it's actual OCD, but it's close. Like, again, I just I have to have stuff clean. Like, especially before like I prep. And it, it's kind of weird because, you know, like, I'm about to prep and make things messy, but I have to have it clean before I can start my prep. Like, all this is gonna be gone, or, you know, somewhat organized. And, like, some of this is me. You know, there's some groceries. And some plates like all this has to get cleaned and in case my sister's watching which I don't think she's gonna watch it But like I'm not saying your kitchen is dirty. That's not what I'm trying to say It's just I have to have it a particular lit particular way when I prep so don't take any offense to that and I'm not trying to throw any shade or you know try to say they don't keep a clean kitchen because they do But like it needs to be super clean when I'm trying to do my thing. That's all no disrespect sis no disrespect All right, that was pretty painless. It didn't take very long. But now I'm gonna go over this week's groceries for the his and hers meal prep that I'm gonna be doing. The meals are gonna be for my sister and then for Alex and then I'll have to prep mine separately. It's just a little bit easier than doing two guy preps and then a girl prep and then also for video you know, reasons like people, it's easier to comprehend a his and a hers versus two guys and a girl. That sounds sexual. Not going there, I'm not going there. So yeah, that's why I'm doing, you know, my prep separate of theirs and that video. It just makes for a better video and an easier video to follow. Let's get into it. So, right off the bat, you know I'm going to kill the earth and I got me some roaster pans because it's easy cleanup. I just, I don't, you know, I don't want to handle all that cleanup. And then people are like, you know, you can put tinfoil down in your pans and then you won't have to clean up. True to a point. But the tin foil, you know, you're still gonna have to wipe out the pan in a little bit because that grease is gonna seep under the foil unless your foil covers the entire pan, which it doesn't always. So yeah, bear that in mind. And uh, we're doing spaghetti and meatballs for one meal. And this week we did, we had that Christmas party and we had some meatballs and we have quite a few left over. Like here are some, and then you know here are some that they're they're both frozen. I don't know why one's in tin foil and one's not. But they are, um, you know, frozen, pre-cooked, not pre-cooked, but like pre-made meatballs. So they're not homemade. The nutrition is definitely not the best, but they're still somewhat healthy. They were the healthier ones of the bunch of meatballs that I got. Um, if I can recall which kind they were exactly, because I can't quite at the moment, but if I go back and I'll try to find the receipt and I'll put like a picture or in the description, there'll be, um, you know, hopefully the the name of them. Not my typical thing. I would not usually buy pre-cooked meatballs, especially for a meal prep, but Alex said he was fine with it, and my sister said she was fine with it, and again, they're the healthier ones, but I would always normally buy um, the meat and make my own meatballs, but that party we did, I was like, yo, people, I'm not gonna hand roll a bunch of meatballs for y'all. Sorry, you can get pre-cooked pre ones. So that's why I have a bunch of pre-cooked meatballs. Moving on, still for the spaghetti, so we have some mushrooms. This larger package for is for him, and then the smaller package is for her, for the, again, spaghetti. And then we're gonna have some meals, they're, they're gonna have some meals, I should say, that have these salads, these sweet kale vegetable salad kits. You got three of them, so two will be for him, and then one will be for her. And there's four servings per package. There's nine grams of fat, 14 grams of carbs, and three grams of protein. That's if you keep in mind if you use the entire 
uh, dressing or even if you use the dressing that's in there, sometimes they'll swap out different dressings or they'll use a little bit less or a little bit more. Um, so yeah, those macros can vary slightly. There we go. Then we have some pasta sauce. So we have two of these heirloom vine ripened tomato sauces. They're both the same size. What I might do is uh, take a little bit out of this one when I do the prep and add it to his because he wouldn't necessarily need a full one of these. I have some almond breeze almond coconut milk. I guess I bought that for myself. Because I don't think he needs it or she does not need it. We have some chicken sausages. These are just for Alex, and they are, these are 1240, one, or five hot buffalo and five chicken and apple. So, yeah, five and five. Those are for Alex. For lunch, he's gonna have uh, two chicken sausages with a bun, because he wants a bun. He's only gonna eat one bun, though, not two. Cut back on the carbs a little bit, he told me. And that's, again, that's his request. I, when it comes to, like, what do I prep for them always, I, put my suggestions in, but then I also let them have some of their own choices, right? Because I don't want to keep making them stuff if they don't want it. Like, they can kind of request what they want, and uh, I try to to pair them together the best that I can with vegetables and other things like that. So, And then these peppers are going to be for my sister. He's going to have a flank steak, sweet potato, and pepper meal. So she's got two red peppers, two orange peppers, and then... There's a green one in here, two green ones in here, two green peppers. And then the onions are for the spaghetti. We got the pastas. So we're doing vegetable pasta. So you really don't even need like vegetables with the spaghetti meal. Like he's gonna have some broccoli with it and then she's also gonna have, she's gonna have the salad with hers. So you're getting like double the vegetables in one meal or in those meals in your day. You can't have too many vegetables, right? Just eat your veggies eat your veggies and honestly you can't really I don't know if you ate the vegetable pasta like plain you could tell when you mix it in with all the sauce and you know different herbs different spices depending on how you make your spaghetti it really becomes hard to tell like what kind of pasta you're eating dog's about to growl what you growl at don't be barking at the other dog we got some again broccoli like I said for Alex Chewy hey got the sweet potatoes got four of them don't do it. Just chill. Just give me like two minutes. I'll be done. You can bark. And then here is the flank steak for my sister. So, hey, that is all the groceries for this week's prep. And this video, again, I know it was shorter. It was pretty basic, but I still wanted to create it. I wanted to get it out. I wanted to show you guys the groceries and keep it separate of the meal prep video itself just because I think that is, hey, chill. That's helpful. But let me know what you guys thought about this video. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for videos like this. And actually, before I'm out, if you stick around to the end, if you stuck around this long, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the meals done so that you can kind of see them before the other prep video. So yeah, check them out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.